Hello, my name is Lily Crowther and I'm a Curator of History at Levington Spa Art Gallery and Museum. Today I'd like to talk to you about three of my favourite things, tea, coffee and chocolate. I'll explain a little bit about their history and show you some of the things in our collection that were used to prepare and serve them. We were recently given this tea service, which had been passed down for generations through the Woodward family, who owned Woodward's department store in Leamington. Tea time has been a central part of family life in this country for hundreds of years. Tea, coffee and chocolate were all introduced to Britain in the 1650s. All three began life as popular drinks for wealthy consumers, before becoming more affordable and widely available. Britain's first coffee houses were fashionable meeting places for men to conduct business, exchange gossip and debate new ideas. And women were excluded. Coffee was traditionally served in a tall pot with a low spout, which was supposed to help retain the heat. This one was made in Staffordshire around 1745 to 1750, and it's in the popular tortoiseshell style known as Wealdon ware. Coffee cups were usually small and straight-sided. This one on the left comes from Lowestoft, around 1771 to 1803, and the one on the right was made in Chelsea, between 1756 and 1769. Meanwhile, tea was becoming a central part of British domestic life. Making and serving loose-leaf tea required a wide range of objects, from tea caddies to slot bowls. This tea service was made by Wedgwood in around 1760. There's a tea caddy on the left and a sugar bowl on the right. All the pieces are made to resemble cauliflowers, and Wedgwood also made another popular service in the shape of pineapples. British tastes were different from those in East Asia, where tea originally came from. This little tea bowl on the right was made in China, between about 1660 and 1720, and the one on the left is from Carfley in Shropshire, made around 1785. But it wasn't long before British consumers were demanding things like milk jugs and Western-style cups with handles. The huge popularity of tea in the 18th and 19th centuries boosted the British ceramics industry. There were lots of factories making tea services and pots, like this creamware pot from Leeds, which was made in about 1775. In the mid-19th century, the first tea shops began to open. In contrast to the masculine coffee house tradition, tea shops were especially popular as places where unchaperoned women could meet and socialise without risking their reputations. This intricate Worcester porcelain teacup was made around 1865, and it's a striking example of the kind of pretty feminine tea wares which were popular at the time. Coffee houses had fallen out of fashion in the late 18th century, but they were revived in the Victorian period, as part of the temperance movement. The temperance movement promoted abstinence from alcoholic drinks and it started to gain ground in Britain during the late 1820s. At the time there weren't many communal spaces where people could meet, especially for the working classes, and pubs were at the centre of social life. Advocates of temperance set up alternative venues for meetings, entertainment, education and refreshment. By the late 19th century, Royal Leamington Spa boasted three temperance hotels, a temperance hall and several tea and coffee houses. This token was produced for the Leamington Coffee Tavern, where it could be exchanged for food or drink. Supporters of the temperance movement could buy tokens like this and distribute them to poor people so that they kept control over exactly how their charity was spent. And finally, let's get to chocolate. We think of it now mostly as a food, not a drink, but solid chocolate was not invented until 1847. Drinking chocolate was popular in Britain from the mid-17th century onwards. It was traditionally served in two-handled cups like this, 
which were thought to be more suitable for thick, substantial drinks. The one on the right here was made in Derby, round 1760, and the one on the left is from Worcester and was made between 1765 and 1770. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet of history. I'm off now to make myself a cuppa. Thanks for watching.